Shalom, Lahabakoyim, Shal Yasha'Allah, peace to the elect of Israel, starting with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe, which consists of the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, Hebrew Israelites who are scattered among all other nations, Shalom to all of you. All right, before we get started with this lesson, Let's face the East and let's give the much due all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, Koloim La, Abanawa, Alahaya Nawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. Much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim Wa Akwa, which will be you, brothers, and few. Amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abaratzah, this lesson is edifying, plain upon the tables, and straight to the point. I'm your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas. So today's uh, topic is going to go into World War Three, a response to uh, this video here from the brother Ambassador of News um, on how uh, Biden order. United States Navy to bomb Yemen for 24 hours. No more warning for Yemen and Iran. If I'm not mistaken, uh, even Elder Apostle Tahar did a uh, lesson on it too. Caught my attention. I definitely want to uh, take heed to it too. Um, let me see. Elder Apostle Tahar. Yeah, even, yep, even Elder Apostle Tahar did a lesson on it too. The United States and the UK go to war with the Houthis. The war of Armageddon is here. And there's another brother too. Um, have jumped on another brother. I think a brother that goes by um, only the elect. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've seen those several other brothers going into this topic. All right. Um, because... The spirit had jumped to jumped on to Elder Apostle Tahar to uh, decree 2024 to be the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. And within Jacob's trouble, you're going to have World War Three uh, going on. All right. Um, but a little while I get definitely get to take heed to this lesson. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to play this video. But before I do, let's take a little read into this. Is heating up CNN, the United States and United Kingdom. Militaries launch strikes against Houthi targets and Houthi controlled areas of Yemen on Thursday, marking a significant response after the Biden administration and its allies warned that the Iran backed militant group will bear the consequences of its attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. United States President Sleepy Joe Biden. Creepy Joe Biden said he ordered he ordered the strikes, quote unquote, in direct response to unprecedented, unprecedented hoodie attacks against international marine time vessels in the Red Sea. Today, at my direction, United States military forces together with the United Kingdom and with support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada and the Netherlands successfully conducted strikes against a number of targets in Yemen used by Houthi rebels to endanger freedom of navigation in one of the world's most vital waterways. The president said in a statement released by the White House. Now, a United States official tells CNN the U.S. military 
has carried out strikes on multiple Houthi targets in Yemen. I want to bring in our, our team for more information. And Oren Lieberman, you're joining us from the Pentagon. Let's get the latest from you first. This is a big deal if the U.S. is attacking targets inside Yemen. The Houthis are, of course, backed by Iran. This war could be escalating big time. The U.S. and the U.K. to a large extent have been telegraphing the fact that if attacks on commercial shipping lanes in the Red Sea, a critical waterway continued, the U.S. would be compelled to act. We are now seeing those actions take place in real time. Now, this action that we are now reporting out of the Pentagon uh, clearly signals uh, that the situation in the Red Sea has become uh, completely intolerable for the U.S. and its allies. And we did see uh, a bit of a turning point last week when a U.S. official uh, said following the weeks and weeks of provocations and the attacks from the Houthis in the Red Sea on these shipping vessels uh, that they were essentially giving the last warning that there would not Let's get some scriptures. Let's get some scriptures. <clears throat> the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 5 and 6 in the KJV. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and evil, and only evil, behold, come. Only bad times. Only perilous times. Okay? Dangerous times. Hazardous times. Unsafe times. Times that's full of risk and danger. You, you cannot tell me that in a time of war is not is, is a very perilous time in a time of war, which we are in. Ecclesiastes chapter three verse eight. Just paraphrasing how uh, a time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, a time of peace. When a time of hate and when a time of war. When a time of evils, with more evils to come. It's only gonna get worse out here. The closer we get to the hour of temptation, the closer we get to Jacob's trouble really popping off, the closer we get to uh the second coming of the true Messiah in the Bible, our Lord, our Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Does say if the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and evil and only evil behold is come. And end is come, right? And end, end, eon, the age. Right? The world, the age, the, the era of who? Esau being the rulership of so-called white men. The wicked elites. Their end has come. We're seeing the signs of their end, of their rulership coming to an end. That's why it's, it's getting evil out right here. Okay? Because their rulership is in the process of falling while another kingdom is in the process of being built up. The house of David. The kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Shai on earth. Where we as a nation will finally be in peace and we will finally be in rulership forever, ever, and ever, and ever. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, and evil and only evil behold is come. An end is come. The end is come. A watch it for thee behold is come. Alright. The end of this man's rulership is coming to an end. This damn thin lip red monkey. Um, let's see. Uh, 24. Uh, let's see. The beginning of sorrows. All right. So the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, 7, and 8. In the KJV. This is in red lettering, which is the Messiah speaking. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Are we not ex experiencing that right now? Did you not just experience that in that video? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right? All these uh, prophecies must come to pass. Right? These things must come to pass. World War Three. Right? The beginning of sorrows must come to pass. Okay? Hearing about wars, rumors of wars. Okay? It must come to pass, but the end is not yet. The end of uh, the, the, the eon, the age, the era of Esau's rulership is, 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 is not yet because it's other prophecy that needs to be fulfilled, like the MOTB, the hour temptation, the Karagma, the MOTB. Jacob's trouble really popping off. With other prophecies to come to pass too. 
For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, right? So while we're witnessing, hearing wars and rooms of wars, right? We're also seeing nation rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, a severe shortage of your victuals, your food, your daily bread, your water, your medicine, right? A lack of you no know, food, resources, which going to lead to starvation and hunger and pestilences, diseases, viruses, outbreaks, deadly diseases, epidemics, pandemics. Remember Bill Gates, a.k.a. Kill Gates, has said something in one of his past interviews that the next pandemic, no one would be able to ignore it. This is paraphrasing somewhere along that line. And earthquakes in diverse places. So-called natural disasters in many parts of the world. Earthquakes also goes into commotions. Commotions, for an example, uproars, protests. Even that's taking place. You get shaking. The, the, the so-called New Year 2024 start off very shaky over in Japan. 7.4 magnitude earthquake. Okay, it started off very hot. If you know what I'm talking about. The old the Jake that was burning alive in the Tesla vehicle. The year started off with his first homicide, uh, uh, his first homicide case. You know, just, just you know, great evils with more evils to come. And earthquakes in diverse places, many parts of the world. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're just in the beginning of sorrows, right? We're, we're experiencing the first birth pain with more birth pains to come. As a woman that's available with child, a pregnant woman that's, that's no, in the process of giving birth. Um, let's get this right quick. Uh, um, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. The Good News Translation, you are going to hear of the noise of battles close by and the news of battles far away. When you consider this as news of battles from far away, right? And real soon, we're going to be hearing about news close by here in America. There's going to be war here in America, civil war, race wars, riot wars, you know, sedition among men. World War Three, you know, taking place here too. America's going to become a war zone. You are you are going to hear the noise of battles close by, and the news of battles far away. But do not be troubled, you know, you sincere believers, especially those who just come into this truth. Don't be troubled when you hear about World War Three, the drive, this and that. All right, such things must happen. But they do not mean that the end has come. Yeah, because there's other prophecies that need to be fulfilled. Which we're definitely on standby through the spirit and power, power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, of what? The hour of temptation. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Right? Because ye have kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Just paraphrasing. Right? When the MOTB is now mandatory in order to what? To what? To buy or sell. Right? Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 and 17, just paraphrasing, with other prophecies too. Such things must happen, but they do not mean that the end has come. Countries will fight each other. Kingdoms will attack one another. Are, are we not witnessing that right now? Come on. Can't say no. Countries will fight each other and kingdoms will fight one another. There will be famines. They left out pestilences here. There will be famines and pestilences and earthquakes everywhere, diverse places. All these things are the all these things are like the first pains of childbirth. NLT. You will hear of wars and threats of wars, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. Nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and pestilences and earthquakes 
in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. All right? With more to come. More evils. All right? Let's get uh, Revelation chapter uh, 11, verse 14. Revelation chapter 11, verse 14 in the KJV. The second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly to break down. Woe means destruction. World War II, right? The second woe is past. World War II has passed. And the third war is coming quickly. The third war cometh quickly. Because what? We're hearing of wars and rooms of wars. This is the, the, the first birth pains with more to come. These rumors or these news from afar is going to eventually come over here. And it's no longer going to be a rumor. And you're going to see it right before your face. On your block. On your city. Your, your nearest bodega getting blown the fuck up. Your favorite footlocker forever 21. Your favorite mall getting blown up. Your gas station getting blown up. Your trap house is getting blown up. Your high school getting blown up. All right? <laughs> Your block getting lit the hell up. Getting destroyed by tanks and, 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 and ICBMs and, and explosions and shit. All right? It comes quickly. All right? And even though it seems like it's tarrying, right? Y'all keep hearing this, like, oh, they always talking about that. Y'all always saying about that. You know, the, the typical, you know, fucking American here. Always got something to fucking say. Um, scripture goes into how it's, you know, it's definitely no point in time. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. We're going to keep prophesying the same. We're going to keep, you no know, prophesying until the prophecy finally, you know, you know kick you, kick you in your throat. Until Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33 is finally before everyone's eyes. The biggest I told you so. When all these prophecies finally come to pass, Lord will, then shall they know a prophet has been among them. Just paraphrasing. When you see a missile that just blown up your damn bodega. When you see yourself being lined up. Getting ready to get to get uh, stamped, to get marked with the MOTB. When you got an empty stomach and an empty wallet. You're not being cured from these pestilences. No, you're just going through hell. And and none of these names, these false gods' names is working out for you. Then you're going to know there was a prophet among you. When you see yourself getting selected for the World War Three draft and you're not being delivered from it. Oh, shit. There was a prophet among us. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, KJV. For the vision is yet from the point of time. So, for an example, today's topic is going into like World War III, right? So, World War III is from a particular time. World War III really pops off where, you know, you got a whole war zone, a Call of Duty battlefield going on, you know, down the street from your house. Um, for, the, for the vision is yet from the point of time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it's hairy, right? Though it uh, it feels like it's delaying, it's postponing, it's you know, it's taking a long time, it's dragging. Though it's hairy, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay. So World War Three is for this particular time. Even though it says in Revelation chapter eleven verse fourteen, just paraphrasing, the third world cometh quickly. Does mean. You know, it's going to happen right now. Right? It's going to come quickly, but it seems slow. But it's coming. Okay? All right? That's why you got to measure the time diligently in itself. Okay? Um, Let's get one more. One more, one more. Uh, so just wait for it, Aki and Wa Aqua. That, that's all we can do is wait. That's all we can do is just wait. Low will. Um... I did mention Ezekiel, so let's close that with that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 33, KJV. And when this cometh to pass, for an example, 
World War Three really popping off. World War Three is now on your front porch here in America. Dial of Temptation, MOTB, right? All hell breaking loose. And when this comes to pass, like right, these prophecies, right? Especially the major ones, the major ones that we're waiting for. Lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have, has been among them. Scoffers, mockers, the unfaithful, the non-believers, all right? We're going to finally know that this whole time there were prophets among y'all. And we hope, Lord willing, Abarachazah, Father willing, that we are those very prophets. Okay. Get this in the NLT and close out, Lord willing. New Living Translation. But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, then they will know a prophet has been among them. The biggest I told you so out of all I told you so's is about to be manifested in this lifetime. When more of these prophecies, all these prophecies finally come to pass. All right. I brought this out the lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. Hopefully you learned something. Repent, y'all, shall live before it's too late. We don't got that much time left. All right. Let's close out by giving a much to do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. Much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's labor and works. And Shalom to you, believers, to the Akim, Wa Akwa, which will be your brothers and few. I'm out of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Shalom.